is not the fight of the sexes. It is not a gender war. It's a simple call for the equity of chances, of outcomes, that any woman, any girl can be any wonder in any sky, if that is what she wants to be. Neither greatness nor success is spelled with X chromosomes. If you ever met Harriet, she would hold you spellbound. She would challenge your theology about how God comes in the body of a woman too. From the leather purse of a roadside mama's shop to the coffers of the World Bank, a woman should be able to choose how big she wants to manage. It will not be about lowering the standards, but how I will help in raising her up. We must not be stumbling blocks, not be orders in any form on this already tiny journey. This is the pledge we make to pave the way that get our sisters to the starting line, run in ways that chase our daughters to the finish line. This is not about war of the sexes. It's about dreams that should get a chance to breathe. It's about the equality of outcome, about us raising queens. It's about lending our shoulders into large parts where many may rise. See, a woman holds more possibilities than babies. Giving lives to more than human entities, a woman is a prayer and an amen. I come from a lineage of priestesses and warriors. Equal part storms and equal part fire. Equal part spears and lovers. Equal part strategies and victory. I come from women whose heartbeats are made from audacity. Tempers tuned to the tune of wisdom. Whose eyes are forged in wisdom. They watch over the seven seas. I come from women who turn pain into monuments of hope. Who refine adversity into landmarks and cities of refuge. Imagine what they will build with bars of steel when we drain the swamps of each resistance and turn families into rocky foundations imagine how far they would go with feet shodden with fitted defiance i know women whose eyes are made of stars that travel through the secrets of the universe whose mind makes love with fresh perspective waiting to baptize the world in new oceans it is time to end the wait and take a deep dive into a buoyant future. The oppression of a woman is the extinction of nurture, the exile of motherhood, and the mother of liberty. Say that.